All right, so let's do an example from your book. This is 21.5 from your book. Um, so according to this, cobalt 60 is going to undergo beta decay to turn into nickel 60 and emit an electron. And so um, the half-life of this is 5.27 years. So it takes 5.27 years for the concentration to half. And then the question asks, how long until 2% remains? So there's two main equations you want to use when solving for this stuff. The first is the half-life, which is T1 half is a 0 0.693 over K. And then the other one is this integrated rate law. The natural log of concentration of A at time T is equal to, or divided by the, the original concentration is equal to negative K T. And so if we think about what we want, we want how long, so we want a time, so we want this time at the end, right? That's our want. So let's figure out what other components of this equation we have or don't have. Um, we see 2% remains, and so that's our concentration at time t. That's the concentration we're interested in. And so we're gonna just change the percent to a decimal, so 0 0.02. And then we think about the original concentration. Since we're talking about decimals and fraction percentages, if 2% remains, that means that originally 100% was there, and 100 as a kind of decimal is one. And so you see, we still don't have K, so we still need to solve for K. We can't solve for two variables at once, so we have to take a look at our other equation. So our other equation, we have K down here, we have 0 0.693, that's just a number, and then we have T one half. Are we given T one half? Well, that's the half-life, so yes, yes, we are giving it this 5.27 years. And so we want to take this 5.27 here, plug that in, solve for K, which if you do, you get 0 0.131. Take this K, plug it into there, and then simply solve for T. And at T, you get 29.9 years. And so how long until 2% remains? It will take 29.9 years. Um, so in real life, it's actually done slightly different way and, and it kind of makes sense. Like, how did you know that I only had 2% left? You'd have to know the original concentration. So of course the question is, what if you don't know the original concentration, which we often don't. And so you can still say T one half is the, over the 0 0.693 over K and we can experimentally um, you know, measure any half-life. And then basically for this other side, instead of talking about the concentrations, we can actually just compare the rates because they're going to be proportional to one another. So we can take the rate at time t over the original rate. And this will be equal to negative k over t. And so we can figure this stuff out from the rate instead. So remember the half-life is constant, but the rate is not. And so we can solve this stuff from rate instead. So for example, um, in, in real life, they wouldn't measure, oh, they wouldn't say there's 2% left. They'd say, oh, the rate has slowed down to this. So check out 21.6 on your own and make sure you understand it. 